For thousands of years, the rainforests of Belize have been a source of food, medicine, and ceremonial plants for indigenous people. Artists traveled west from Belize City to Tana, a small village in the Maya Mountains, to find out how the local people continue to live a sustainable way of life rooted in land, traditions, and history of their Mayan ancestors. Paulina Garcia's family has lived in the Cayo district of Belize for countless generations. Her five daughters are known as the Garcia sisters, and they operate a recreation and education resort that offers accommodations, traditional meals, an art gallery, and guided walks along the Maya Medicine Trail. Their farm borders a preserve that was established to protect the natural resources of the community. After being welcomed to the family farm by Paulina, Art is given an introduction to the medicinal uses of plants found in the nearby jungle. So what do we have here, Maria? We have what we call a um, holy red, and in Maya we call it chikanan. The leaf name is chikanan. We use it for different purposes, like for cuts. You can squash this with the, um, the metate. I have a little boo-boo. Uh -huh. Blister on my toe, I can use this. Yes, you can. Uh -huh. So grind it good. Uh -huh. The liquid, you can use it up there. Okay, Maria, is that? Yes. It's ready to use? Yes. Down in here, I have a little blister. Mm -hmm. And there's all kinds of rules to follow of respect. You just can't take food. You have, you know, like, for example, make your offering, mm -hmm. your prayer, you look at the moon, and then you go. And you do it, you know, with respect, with reverence. Well, we have the kopal up here. This is a very sacred incense that, you know, our ancestors or great-great-grandfathers have been using. Thousands of years they've been smudging yes, and using uh -huh, this but, um, in ceremony. And it's similar to home. We give thanks to the plant that we're not uh -huh. going to toy with it, that we're going to be using it for uh -huh. a good purpose. We ask the, you know, the spirit of the, the of the, um, you know, um, plant to, you know, give us their, you know, um, leaves. They are spirits, they are guardians, so that through them, you know, the sick person will, um, you know, get healed. It's Mother Nature who, you know, grants us with everything that we have, with the plants, with the air, with the, you know, um, with the rain, with the sun, with the moon. Everything is combined. We just can't separate one thing, you know, from the other. Okay, this is masa, and that's uh, made out of white corn. They cook the corn, it's soft, so you grind it, and then afterwards, you know, um, you put some water to make it into a masa, mm. and then that's what you're going to make the tortilla with. Okay, this one's ready for the grill? No, 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 you have to um, flat more. Flat more. Uh -huh. So this is what they mean by the slow food. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> we better start over. We do it with the planting leaves. And when we are, you know, like um, training um, anybody to learn how to do our Mayan um, tortillas, corn tortillas, then we give them the plastic so that it oh, will be more easy, easy for to them. take off. When they already know, then they can use the okay. planting leaves. So it's right from your garden, this corn? Yes, uh huh. So working right close with nature, the uh -huh. garden stuff and the natural stuff right in the, in the land surrounding your home. You uh -huh. use everything. Yes, because we believe, you know, that what you give your body is, you know, a medicine. So we could see uh, hers is so beautiful and round and flat. <laughs> this is Canadian style. Mm, that. <laughs> okay. okay. You got some seeds, something drying here? You can see beans. This is local tomatoes that we have up here. When we are ready to plant, we just scrape all what we need. So that this is how we save our seeds. And you have to save all the seeds for the corn too? Yes, we have the purple, we have the white, we have the yellow. And uh, what we are cooking right now is the um, white um, tortilla or that comes from the white corn. Do you try to make sure you don't pick too much in one area? You try to move around so that 
Yes, you have, you know, like for example, you pick tree from this plant and maybe you go up there and pick next tree and next tree. Belize has been home to the Mayan people for thousands of years. Their presence can still be felt in the majestic temples found throughout the country, in the Mayan dialects that continue to be spoken, and in the continued use of traditional plants and foods. So this walking softly on Mother Earth and giving back to the Earth, how can that traditional philosophy help the state of the world and the way things are nowadays? We have to have more reverence. I think Mother Nature is telling us, you know, is reminding us constantly, you know, that we have to offer, that we have to be more connected. For example, we hear a lot about the, this climate change. Why do we have all those things? Because we have, you know, forgotten where we come from, where we belong to. Mm -hmm. You know, we are, you know, like kind of disconnecting ourselves from Mother Earth, from Mother Nature. We are, you know, more into the materialism part, you know, than or destroying Mother Nature rather than, you know, giving her or treating her with that reverence and that respect. And that's why now Mother Nature is coming and doing her cleansing.